Luis Arruju. Arruju all the way in. Luis Arruju scores! He has been absolutely on fire in this preseason. Welcome to 2023, year seven for the Five Stripes. This is your first weekly report of the new season. This week, Atlanta United to open the season hosting the San Jose Earthquakes. It's been a busy preseason for Atlanta United, a trip to Chattanooga to get things started, a trip to Mexico for multiple games, just finished everything up with a trip to St. Louis. The attack has been hitting on all cylinders, even without Yorgos Yakumakis and Derek Etienne in preseason. Luis Araujo, Tiago Almada have both been brilliant, but it's been the Brazilian who has scored in every preseason match Atlanta United has played, and he scored some bangers as well. Araujo primed for a big, big 2023. The Argentine Tiago Almada coming off of being part of Argentina's World Cup winning squad He's been very good so far as well. Scored down in Mexico, has created a ton of chances, and Almada pulling the strings will be vital for Adarujo, Etienne, and Yakumakis to hit on all cylinders this season. This is the fourth time Atlanta United has faced the San Jose Earthquakes. The Five Stripes have won every time, but each match has been full of chaos. 2017, July 4th, fireworks after the game, fireworks during the game, and a wild 4-2 back and forth affair. The greatest comeback in club history in 2018, on the road. And 2019, it took two goals past the 90th minute for Atlanta United to get that win at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Two defensive additions for San Jose are expected to make them stronger in the back. First one's in the midfield, Carlos Gureso, who was part of Ecuador's national team at the most recent World Cup. Now behind him, Jonathan Mensa, the former captain of the Columbus crew, the Ghana national team veteran, adds a ton of composure to this defense for San Jose. Now let's dig into the keys to this match. This is game one, so both teams are still kind of building that chemistry. While that chemistry is being built for Atlanta United, I think the key for them will be their pressure up high. It's something that Gonzalo Pineda believes in. And we can go back to 2022 and remember how that season started. The first goal of 2022 was created with pressure off the ball in the attacking half. Luis Araujo scored that goal. Araujo, in addition to being an incredibly talented attacker, is an intense defender and he creates turnovers. We've seen it in preseason. We've seen it throughout his time in Atlanta. Now on the other side of the ball, Atlanta United defensively, starting in goal with Brad Kazan and in front of him at center back with Miles Robinson. Both of those players are back. They played in St. Louis in the final closed door friendly. And the leadership from both of them in very different ways will be essential for Atlanta United. This Atlanta United team in 2023 is built to score goals. You have elite attacking talent. You have elite chance creators in this team. And Gonzalo Pineda wants to get as many players forward as possible all season long. This is a team that when they score goals at home is incredibly dangerous. And this is a team that when they score goals at home, the energy, the noise, the passion, it picks up in the stands at Mercedes-Benz Stadium and it transfers onto the pitch. It becomes a, a bit of an avalanche for opponents to have to deal with. In fact, Atlanta United, when they scored two or more goals at home, have only lost one time in club history. And that was back in 2017. If Atlanta United can get off on the front foot in this match against San Jose at home, get those goals early, it's gonna be a long day for the San Jose Earthquake. 